birds are such extraordinary beings. They're the wild animal we see most every day, and yet we know almost nothing about them. Each bird in birdology I chose because it illustrates a different aspect of what I consider essential birdiness. For instance, the first chapter is devoted to my ladies, my flock of hens who are highly individualistic, very emotional, very intelligent beings. And that chapter is called Birds Are Individuals. That's the first thing you need to know about birds. But there's other essential aspects of birdiness, and this book allowed me to explore those. Among the things that makes a bird a bird is the fact that birds are made of air. Their bones are hollow, their feathers weigh more than their skeletons. And these little tiny hummingbirds have no fewer than nine huge air sacs in their bodies and it makes them so hard to care for. But it's this fragility that gives them the strength to conquer the sky. And the other birds too show us things essential to understanding birds. I had known, of course, that the dinosaurs really haven't gone extinct, but they turned into birds. But until you go into the Queensland rainforest, looking for a big black 150 pound bird with a tall helmet of bone who can eviscerate you with a single swipe of its foot. It doesn't really get that across until you find yourself as I did face to face with this animal. Birds are so different from us and yet they're very similar. These creatures are more closely related to dinosaurs than they are to us and yet birds alone have been able to speak to us meaningfully in our own language. Birds enjoy dance, they enjoy music, they possess a connection to instincts that we have long lost. And yet, they're made out of air and we're made out of fluid. And so what I'm hoping to do in birdology is to restore our awe in the presence of these extraordinary yet ordinary creatures.